Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's actually going to be rather a quick and brief video. It's basically just showcasing some brand new leaked images of the upcoming, already rumoured and now 100% confirmed Voyager class Sentinel Prime based on his appearance from Dark of the Moon into the studio series. We knew that Sentinel Prime was coming for quite some time now and of course they're not going to miss out on giving us one of the pivotal characters from the Transformers Dark of the Moon movie or just the movie franchise in general and Sentinel Prime is such a high profile character that if they were to miss out doing this character it really would be such a downfall on the line as a whole. So I'm definitely glad to see them actually introducing this figure into the line. So without further ado, let's check out this leaked image that we have of the figure so far. And here we have our first in-packaged shot of Voyager class Sentinel Prime. Now when I first saw this initial image I did believe this to perhaps be a fake. However, upon closer inspection I definitely do think that this particular picture is legitimate and I'll go into my reasons for why I believe that. The first reason is because the figure looks completely brand new. This doesn't look as if though it borrows any elements from the previous Voyager nor Leader Sentinel Prime figures and they were really the only figures that were released in this scale. So if this was a mock-up of one of those previous figures we would definitely be able to tell and as far as I can tell this is a completely brand new sculpt. I also think that the CGI design that they've used on the actual packaging is legitimate as well and it definitely doesn't look too out of place nor photoshopped and the figure is figure number 61 in the line which was Sentinel Prime's original rumoured number when we got the leaked listing back I believe it was last month so that further legitimises and solidifies actually getting this figure within the studio series. Now taking a more up close and in depth look at this figure unfortunately the image provided isn't of the highest quality as this is just the leak I imagine we'll get a lot clearer more high definition photo photos when Toy Fair rolls around this time next week but from what we can tell we can see that the figure will be incredibly broad with almost that night aesthetic that we saw Sentinel obtain within the movie with the incredibly large shoulder pads. We can see that this figure will in fact have a really awesome detailed looking head sculpt and we can definitely pick out some nice silver paint apps on where the bearded section of Sentinel will be as well as the main faceplate. I'm an absolute massive fan of the faux chest that they appear to be using for the actual centerpiece of the figure. Now I say that this is faux just as the way Sentinel Prime transformed within the movie it gave his chest an incredibly angular design which is something that you probably wouldn't see if the chest transformed. We can also see that this figure will in fact have some impeccable very vibrant red paint apps which was also something missing on the initial Leader and Voyager version that was released as part of the original DOTM toy line. They were very purple in their design not much of a deep red like we saw in the movie so it's great to see that the studio series is keeping in terms of accuracy and giving us a really definitive looking colour scheme. I really do like the silver highlights within the centrepiece of the chest and to me it almost looks as if though he does in fact have that small silver panel actually on the left hand or right hand side depending on how you look of his actual chest piece as well which is in fact accurate to the film. Now something which I cannot tell by looking at this impact shot is whether or not this figure will include either his sword, his shield or even his blaster. That is all something that we cannot see within the packaging and I really hope that he does in fact include at least one of these accessories if not just the sword and the shield as they were really the weapons that we saw sentinel wield within the film we can also see here that he will in fact have a very angular crutch section much like we saw in the movie very diagonal and pointy in its design which is of course accurate to the movie it does appear that this figure could in fact have a waist joint just beneath where the black section is and the more vibrant red section towards the crutch there does appear to be a slight an off center to this actual piece so i do actually believe that this could be a potential waist joint which if it is it will be great as Sentinel was definitely a really highly agile character within the movie. And then as we begin to move down to the lower leg region of the figure we can see here that much like the upper torso it's very elegant in its design and very knight like as well with the very sharp pointed feet. We can see here that the feet will in fact be very streamlined in their design as well as well as the shins and the thighs and it does appear that he'll have some fantastic mechanical detailing actually on the figure's thighs that Himself, so that is a really nice attention to detail. However, seeing this elegance in the main robot mode, it does make me believe whether or not this figure will have a massive backpack. As as you know, Sentinel Prime in the movie does turn into a huge Rosenbauer fire truck. So 
it'll be really interesting to see how they take the transformation and whether or not it will improve on the backpack that was present on either the Leader or the Voyager from the original DOTM toy line. So there you have it. That was my very quick in-depth analysis on this first leaked image that we have of the Voyager Sentinel Prime for the Studio Series. Personally, I wanted to get this video out as this is the first piece of official confirmation that we actually have that we are in fact definitely going to be getting a Sentinel Prime and so far gives us our best look at what is probably going to be the definitive representation of Sentinel Prime in our movie figure collection. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section below what you think of this newest reveal from the Studio Series and whether or not so far this figure looks promising in your eyes. I definitely do believe we'll get more in-depth and better images over at New York Toy fair next week so definitely stay tuned to the channel for then and until my next video i'll see you then thanks for watching